Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trufinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. We're uh, still just paddling around on the lake, and uh, we're gonna start this to, um, well, just check out a few of the treasure maps we found. I think the first one is supposed to be right next to Odin's foot, which is somewhere up there, but... So that seems to be a place where we can jump across. So if I just go around towards the gate, I should be able to get up there. And there is another traveler up there as well. So that might be interesting as well. So let's head up. Although it seems the handle is missing, so I can't pull the elevator down. Huh. So there's clearly a traveler up there. And there's a jumping pad to get across, but maybe if I can approach from the other side. So it might actually be that I can access it from over here, maybe. So this is the original gate we were at. That thing over there. So the bridge was originally over here. But this is also new, I think. Yeah, there we go. New dock. So maybe if we go from here, we can get all the way up. Because that was missing before. Okay. And there we go. Just take care of the nightmares. Keep it up. And then that one. And there we go. So, all of them done. I can't cross here because of the spikes, but we might be able to do something about that. Um, those are spikes as well, but if I... Do I hear a ticking noise? Because I feel like those might actually return. Did that lower? Yeah, it lowered those as well. So let's see, what is here? So there's another bit of spikes over here. With a very fancy chest behind it, which... I think might contain the next cipher for... Um, is it Niflheim? Yeah, I think it's Niflheim. So that... Aha! Uh -huh, pulls those away. Great. Let's open that up. And that gets us D cipher. Is it a cipher? One more and we yeah, can translate there we go. Three out of four. Three out of four. That's really, really good. So that means we only need one more to get out of this mess. Okay, let's just put that back the way we found it. And climb up here. But I think that just gets us back up to where we were, right? Because I don't think there was anything else. Although I might be wrong. This looks distinctly different. And there's a, a bucket here. Might check that out later on. Um, okay. I dropped those spikes away. More hack silver. I have a feeling that we're already higher than we were before. And the fact that this just keeps going only enhances that feeling. Yeah, we're at the other side now. Okay, so that is good. So if I just kick that down, we have a bit of a Shortcut back. And this is just hack silver. Okay. That right. I think we're heading in the right direction. The distance is significant as well. Just want to take out the nightmares first. Cause oh, she's creating them. Let's just take her out quickly then. Yeah, come on, just kill her. There we go. Okay. She could create like two at a time every single time, so that was a bit annoying. And this is the treasure, I suppose, that I accidentally dug up. There we go. The unstable ore, a volatile substance that sparks on contact, used to upgrade pommels with explosive damage effects. So that is indeed something, explosive damage. 
And then the Eye of Rage increases the rate at which Rage is gained by 10%. That is also really cool. And there we go, Hardened Svartalf, Heimsteel, and 21,000 Haxel. That is really, really great. Okay, so that's our first treasure chest of today. And we saw that in the, the treasure map as well. There's another uh, lore panel over another here. One here. This one is Thrym, a frost giant king. Correct. A cunning one as well. Is that Mjolnir? Did he steal Thor's hammer? Aye, for a time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. Imagine that. Indeed, so a frost giant this time. So we had the frost giant, we have the fire giant, Surtur, who's hiding in Muspelheim. So it might be that the frost giant is actually hiding up in Niflheim then. Does this keep going or not? It does seem like we can, yeah, we can actually access this. So this might eventually lead up to the Traveler then. If we can get around here, ooh, that even looks like something we can open up, but this. Is that the final cipher then? Because if it is, hell yeah. I think it is. Oh no, Symbol of Defiance, god damn it. <laughs> God damn it, got me excited over nothing again. Can we open this up? We can. New location found. And that's the. Okay, his armor was loading in. <laughs> well, that was uh, interesting. But we know how to fight these, right? Oh, guy can even walk him now. There we go. I can block it every time, but it's a bit annoying that I need to... Yeah, carry it. Just be patient. There we go. And then a swipe. And then an overhead. No Damn it. Let's, just, let's just finish it like this. There we go. And just turn it off so I keep a bit of my Our rage. Enemies are strong. But we're stronger. There we go. Traveler Dom. And that gives us Hack Silver, Traveler's Christy trophies, and four more Traveler's Armor Shards. That's what I want to hear. There we go, boys. Is this Niflheim or. Aha. Uh -huh. I think that's the, the yeah. name of one of the Valkyries. Four out of eight. That's quite curious. Oh. So I think there are, are there eight or nine gates? Because I have a feeling there are only eight, so four on each side. So that would mean, those are the names of the Valkyries then. Does that mean that if we light all of them, we actually call forth the Valkyries? Because we've seen those thrones before. Um, but we need to continue looking for the last runes. Um... Well, the cipher did the, the, the rude cipher for uh, Niflheim so we can light the other braziers because I think we cleared out most of the uh, the pedestals right next to the gates, which uh, should be interesting. But There's next treasure map is um, right on the other side of the lake, so see you guys there in a second. Lemire, why don't you tell us the story of the giant that stole Thor's hammer? Happily, my boy. It involves your friend Freya, too, though I don't expect it's one she'd enjoy being reminded of. The giant was called Thrym, and he proved cunning enough to make off with Mjolnir while the thunder lummox slept. Sadly for Thrym, he didn't always think with his brain. Though he had robbed the greatest giant killer of his greatest weapon, he offered to trade it back to the Aesir in exchange for Freya as his bride. Now, at this point, Freya was married to Odin, and Odin, frankly, would have traded her for a sufficiently strong mead, but he saw an opportunity here. Thrym's palace was in Jotunheim, and only giants know the way. By agreeing to the marriage, they'd have to escort Freya back to their realm. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. 
When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back Mjolnir and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull, followed by every other giant present for the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foothold in Jotunheim would become his own. And oh, would he ever revenge himself upon Freya. What is the point of this story, Head? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. For Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. Okay then, that was um, very nicely told. Thank you, Bimir. Um, we're back here, because I think there's... Ooh. There's even a flippin' traveler here. Um, but yeah, there's Trogger as well. So we're back at Buri's storeroom. Which I think, yeah, the treasure is right here, so I don't even need to fight these guys, but I think I am going to. Because this might have just given me uh, a checkpoint. So Eternal Frost, used to upgrade pommels with frost damage effects. And I think we get more Hacksilver and, yeah, all the, all the stuff. Creation Island. So... Oh god, nope, nope, leaving, leaving. Running away. Running away, never mind. Level 8, I'm not gonna start even that. That's probably, and the traveler is probably just as strong. Um, now that we're here, I am curious what happened to Fighter Guard now that the water level has dropped. So, uh, why not they? Fighter Guard pass. So, this is now a beach, which wasn't before, I think. And there's clearly a few, uh, Draugr walking around here. Just gonna. S Swap around a bit. I'm just gonna headshot that guy a few times. And there we go. And rip him apart. Okay, brother. Oh, Jesus. And with this guy in half. And then the other one. There we go. On fire. Let's just heal up. You have uh, boy. That hurt a bit. He got me in the back. Wasn't paying attention enough. And uh, I paid the price for it. But still. Still half a health bar. Shouldn't be that big of a problem. That seems to be an ancient. Are you going to... Wake up, you seem like you're pretty much alive. Yeah, there we go. Lava Ancient. Great. Why did I have to wake that up? Damn it, that was in the balls. Damn it. Okay, fair enough. There we go. I think that uh, means I can grab him. There we go. Punch, 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 Ah, oh, crap. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know it's a tweak spot, but... I think if I hit him one more time... There we go. Okay. So I'm pretty much dead right now. <laughs> Is there a health stone in between all of that? Yeah, there it is. There it is. Thank you. Ooh, that wasn't... That wasn't much. A bit of uh, ancient rubble. Probably a heart in there somewhere. And a... Yeah, there's a heart. And burn damage resistance. I think that's our third one already. Which means that I can get 60% burn damage resistance if I want to. Which is... Which is very nice. Um, hmm. Is this the only new area here? We'll, we'll see in a second. But, more stuff for me. 
soft, soft part of heim steel. I beg your pardon. Why is this soft? Um, so we do have Brock here, but I think this is the same area we visited before. But we have the traveler shard. So there we go, primordial. I've crafted the entire ancient armor set. Did the didn't want to do that before, but uh, there we go. I'm not going to equip that though, because we have now a bit of a mismatch of uh, armor. You hitting the road or chewing the fat? So there we go, ancient armor on the chest, the blazing magma cauldrons, uh, pauldrons, no, not pauldrons, uh, gauntlets on my arms, and the ancient uh, waistband. So that is that is our current armor. It's a bit uh, a bit messy at the moment. But uh, I'll upgrade that in a second, so uh, we'll get the enchantments right. And uh, this should be our most powerful armor at the moment. And it's very interesting, because that actually boosts us up to level 5. Because I also upgraded uh, Atreus' bow to level 5. Which, uh, look at that, it actually it actually glows a bit. I'm just going to quickly nip into Vitagard to see if anything changed. Because we did have that... Um, what's it called? That island with uh, the little Thor statue on top of it. And I feel... Like the water level might have dropped over there as well. If it didn't, we're just going to return and you'll not see any of this. So, back at Vitacard, but it doesn't seem like the water level has dropped in here, which is good to know, of course. But uh, that means we're just going to head back to uh, the Lake of Nine. So, fast traveling again, which means we'll probably so get another you? story. There we go. Like maybe you know Brock and Sindri. Or the Hulja brothers. Well, who doesn't? They're quite famous or infamous, depending on your point of view. They crafted Mjolnir, you see. Thor's hammer, the Aesir's greatest murder weapon, the bane of giant kind. They made Thor's hammer? I didn't think they'd like the Aesir. Oh, I should say not. But this was long ago, and they were eager to make a name for themselves. Rather overdid it with that one, methinks. Yeah, I, I think they did indeed, because if it is indeed the big murder weapon in this universe, then... Oh god, uh, what was that? I thought I said prompt there for a second, but might have been me. And there we go, the gate to get back to Brock's shop in uh, the Lake of Nine. There we go, there we go. But we're not done with the lake just yet, because uh, there's a few more things we need to check out. I'm actually wondering what, I think we still have one more treasure map as well. So give me a second. Aha, okay, so yeah, in the uh, the Hrezla Farmadis camp. Hmm, I have to... Turn back to there as well in a second. But first things first, this uh, glacier has completely opened up right now. So I'm really, really curious as to what is there right now. Uh, first, we'll head towards where the giant was dead, lying uh, dead over there. It seems like there's something else over there as well. Just take the dew to uh, go. There we go. Two more points upgraded to strength, which is great. And now that we're level 5, we might be able to take out some uh, harder enemies as well. But, um, so that's pretty much easy, I suppose. Yeah. So, that this mean dark elf uh, stuff? And I still can't do anything with these green globes. Although I have a feeling that those are usually locked by puzzles in the neighborhood. And for the first time, this actually isn't a CRN chest. It's a... Um, Sideways NBR chest. And that's why we lit the brazier, so we don't really need to get over there. That gate seems to be locked as well, but we can jump <gasps> over here. I mean, we can open up a few things, but on the whole, this place seems to be yeah, kind of barren, almost. Because this is also probably something I can just open up from this side now. But I wonder why. Because it doesn't look like anything needs to pass through here. I'm um, just gonna check out the place with the. Oh, Jesus Christ! He's okay, hi. Jeez, this guy scared the shit out of me. Yeah, he just hit me there. Where is that guy? Oh, 
There we go. There goes that one. We got the oil off fire, so I'm just gonna. Boom. One, two, three. Because that hits them even from far away. Swipe, 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 and ooh, a few more extras. Where the hell is he? There we go. Taken care of. Yeah, that was uh, a bit harder than I thought it was going to be, but there we go. Taken care of. But does that mean that there is something else around here? That was a nice health stone. Because we've been up there, we haven't been down here just yet. Here we go. That was, okay, and then sudden tassel worms. Um, mind if I do? Where the hell are they? Oh, there they are. Level two. Come on, come on, I saw you. Okay. Okay, level two tassel worms. That was a bit weird, but don't mind if I do. Then this gate, can't seem to open that gate. So this is fine. I have a, a shortcut to get back down, but as for the rest of this area, it just seems to be just chests. And another chain that I can drop down. Generally, no. Don't really seem that I can do much. So I'm just going to assume that I don't have all the pieces yet. And uh, we'll move forward. Um, last thing I'm going to do is get that last treasure map. In the, um, well, the, the Reaver home base. So I uh, guess I'll see you guys in a second over there. What happened to the city? I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before the Gander came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. Huh. Seems like I found a cave that I haven't checked out yet. Don't mind if I do. Treasure map will have to wait for a second. Another piece of dew, which gets us two in luck permanently. And then there's a little beach over here that we can look at. Where does this get us to? Well, at least there's a raven. That's one. And then where are we exactly? Seems like we're close to one of the gates. There's a realm tear over there. And a chest over here. Um, let me open this up. We can. Oh. Um... Hi, um, didn't mean to disturb you there, sir. That's why I'm hitting you with my axe. Level five, okay. Should be doable. Oh, he has a shield on his back. Okay, he's defending again. And slam. And smack. And then overheads. That's against the shield. Can we actually... Oh, wow. Uh, he is weak to the electric ones, although he's shielding pretty well. Oh, wow. 
know what? Let's just get this over with. And there we go. Didn't even need all my uh, my strength there. Four Traveler's Armor Shards again, which is really, really nice. And a bit of Hack Silver. Okay, you can't Give probably read this. There. Yeah, there we go. We need the rest of the language disc. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, we can pull this one down now. Uh, we're going back up for the realm there, of course, but I think we need to do this to get the elevator working from all the way down. Um, and then we'll move on. So, realm there on the side here. I think I might have actually tried this before. So this might be a strong enemy. Ooh, yeah. Um... There we go. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, okay. Two level seven werewolves. So I'm gonna try this a few times to see where we uh, end up. It's too bad that I used all my rage already, but... Maybe with a nice combination of uh, attacks, we can actually do this. Okay, I did. And uh, pull it back out. Um, maybe actually do some rage because I think I want to. If I focus on that one. Oh, shit. Seems to be weak to. Oh, oh cool. I was far enough away. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, what the fuck? Holy shit. Um, you know what, guys? Um, since I'm getting repeatedly mauled over and over again by these wolves, I'm just gonna take uh, a little break because uh, this is not working out but uh, on the next episode I think we'll be heading on with the main quest because I've been holding this off for far too long and it feels like we need to uh, start leveling up a bit more so uh, I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of God of War where we'll finally head on with the main quest so thank you guys enormously for watching again and see you guys on the next episode of God of War goodbye